Hello you guys, look what I got here. Got myself a new reel. My dye wire, I had it for almost maybe six, seven years I guess. Broke on the water. So I came back from the fishing, picked this up from Cabela. My new fishing reel, Pin Slimer 3500. It got 30 pound of drag and gear ratio 6.2 some of them. I had this one now, uh, Spin Fisher. I think this is 35 or 40, 4,000. 4, IP5. I drop it in the water just, just for a second. And I pull it out back. It start sticky a little bit, but still okay. Anyway, let me open this one. This one I IP five, and this one IP six. It's so smooth, you guys. Can't wait to try it on the water. Look at this. Uh, I want to use this reel for, you know, like, I, I pick a 3500, I don't like big heavy reel. I want a, a little light setup. So I hope I catch falls out of the this. It's so smooth, man. It's like a Stella or something. Some other reel. This look very nice, high quality. I never own a round handle knob like this before. So, yeah, you guys, my first impression. It came with the, the EVA uh, foam knob to uh, handle. So, but I'm gonna stick with this round one. I like this round one. So, yeah. Hope I hook on to some LB and I'm gonna test this out with the top total and maybe striper or two. I think this can handle a, a, everything. It's got 30 pounds of drag, so yeah, can't wait to try it on the water, you guys. I'm gonna this is gonna be my go-to setup. I'm going to uh, set it up with my tow rod, so fishing, ah uh, yeah, fishing rod, uh, yeah, I will test this out and how's, yes, I've been watching YouTube about this, it's, it's very waterproof. So this, hopefully it's gonna last me for a while because my other dive bar had max seal. I don't know, somehow, I, I did drop it a long time ago on the cement or whatever. So, uh, but with more than six years or whatever, it's finally broke on me. I hope it's small seed bass and the thing just broke and yeah. I'm going to try this out tomorrow, so hope I can hook up some big fish or albacore or whatever. Thank you, you guys. Please enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like and share and subscribe, all right? See you on the water, tight line. Goodbye. See the sun's coming up. Uh, my GoPro mount broken now. I have to put on my hat. Um, do another tube trolling and some deep diver. Trying to go out a little further while I get. Well, I'm gonna take time to get to my destination. Just troll it, see what's happened. So, 
There's a guy still learning how. <clears throat> Anybody can help me with this poop thing. I'm not good at it. Uh, well, trying to learn to use more artificial instead of just bait. Well, troll for a while. Maybe go like a mile out. Trying to find the deep water, my friend. My friend Jesse and Gary did good. Yesterday they were at uh, 70 feet deep. Gary limit out the fluke. Oh my god. That's my bucket list. I want to limit out the fluke. And catch striper on my tube. <clears throat> so yeah, no action yet. I'm trying to save my battery. Enjoy the view. Woo! See that red buoy in the distance there? I'm surprised no party boat coming out yet. Not many boat activity. Guys, I never see it. the water is nice and calm, no wind like this. I can't resist to go a little further. So let's see how I'm doing today. Yesterday I was doing okay. Got three to talk, one sea bass, one scup. I should have come over here. My friend Jesse did good. He got three talk, he got two sea bass, he got one fluke. And Gary limit out the fluke. Holy moly. Man, I wish I limit out the fluke. I think the most I caught, maybe one or two, that's it. I haven't catch anything any fluke this year I lost one big one at Buzzard Bay so you see this so nice and calm nothing break on the water no birds or nothing what's going on all right you guys conserve my battery I should go get a spare battery on my spear, I had two spear battery, they die. So, yeah. What is it? I just caught one chick up already. And that, another small sea bass. Well, when there's not much action, I like to catch some scup. I caught two scup over here, Mike, and a couple small sea bass, no talk yet.
Getting chick up, man. <laughs> All right. This is probably sea bass, not chick up. It is sea bass. Not the biggest one. Small. something here on the crap oh did it let go oh man let go gee let go gee I didn't set the hook I thought it hook already <clears throat> 62 feet deep at least I got some action here I don't mind as long as I get some action stuck huh some kind of structure there oh oh wow <laughs> deep water right now look at, see the bubble come out they're not the biggest one but they that uh, legal side Oh, 
I lost it. Damn. Now I got you. Wow. This is big. This is big. This is big. It's gotta be sea bass. It's a keeper sea bass, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope I don't lose it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mike, I just caught almost 20 inch sea bass, Mike. I, did, I agree, man. <laughs> yeah, this guy don't need to measure it. On my tiny hook. Oh. Should lose drag a little bit. Don't want to snap the line like that. Yes. You see the bubble, you guys. It's so deep. Like... Pull out the bubble. Wow. Ah, he's around ten. I'm gonna let him go. I don't know what this is. It's gotta be sea bass, you guy. Oh yes, my second keeper, my second keeper, my second keeper on the squid, tiny hook, oh, tiny hook, no he's not a keeper. Close though. Whoa, look at that, you guys. This is like 16, maybe. Not gonna keep him. It's gotta be over. Whoa, something is jumping. No, be short. Yep. Go look for talk. To talk. <laughs> Mr. Scum. Number six. Post port launch. This is Hawk on six eight. Oh. Number six. Now I get you. You gotta wait until they swallow it. <laughs> mm, getting to like this bait cast now. Just drop down straight. All right. They feel bigger when they so deep down there.
over 10. No, this one got to go back. Only 10. Oh, I need bigger than that. What happened? What happened? Oh, what happened? I got no bait. No fish gonna bite it if you don't have bait. Small one, guy. I haven't catch. This is not my usual spot. I came over here far, trying to looking for a fluke like my friend caught, and uh, I hope I don't get skunk. Haven't get talk to talk yet. They all small. Fish on. Uh, uh. Another small talk. Oh, where's the big one? Where's the big one? They're coming, they're coming. Look like I'm gonna get skunk today. Only got one sea bass early on. Just wanna test out this new reel that I got from Cabela. It's very smooth. So smooth man. And I'm so tired now. Usually I don't do a back to back day like this but I just can't wait till next week <laughs> I want to try this reel out so well I got about 10 chicup and one sea bass that's it all the talks are small instead of stay on my usual spot that I know best I go to a different location where my friend went the other day they had good luck I was trying to get some fluke <laughs> it's no fluke for me, no toe talk for me bomber I was planned to go home around 11 10 o'clock now it's 12 o'clock already so you guys well, let the fish another day. Well, you guys, I'm down to my last piece of crabs. Look like I'm gonna say goodbye for now. I should even move from that spot that I was anchored already, losing time and everything. So, yeah. Just want to test out this new reel. Didn't really get to hook up a keeper to feel, but it is smooth though. So, thank you, you guys, very much for watching my video. Yeah, I see you next time on the water. Goodbye. One sea bass and ten cup. That's it. A bunch of small one. I should have stayed at Westport did so good over there we limit that to talk so fast but I want more chick up that's why I come here and sea bass seem to be bigger over here but I guess not
Okay. Thank you very much, you guys. Once again, goodbye. Tight line. See you on the water.